going to do a 303C. It's a reverse one and a half in tuck. That was great. Six, six and a half, and six. In the final round. Sure. Jessica, can you hear me? I can. Okay, I can. Olivia's going to do her final dive. It's a 402C. It's an inward dive with one somersault. Inward flip. No score for that dive. Next up is Eve doing her final dive. It's a 5211A. That's a back dive with a half twist. job, nice height, little twist on the entry. Three, two and a half, and three. Not a direction to be on the entry. Juliana's last dive is a 5122D. Front flip with a full twist. Nice job. Five and a half, six, six and six. And Tessa's final dive is a 203B. That's a back one and a half somersault in the pike position. job there. A little tiny bit short in the entry, but I think it'll score well. Six, six and a half, six and a half. And that'll conclude the diving for the evening. Well, everybody, uh, we are here for the Hopkinton High School Boston Latin meet. Uh, we apologize that we missed the beginning. We had some technical difficulties. Yep. They're probably going to be a little bit intermittent, uh, but we're going to figure it out. So the diving has concluded already. I think that uh, we got the end of it on film. And yep. now they're going to warm up for the... Um, uh, for the beginning of the swim portion of our uh, yep. meet today. Well, I mean, I guess we could make up a story and say, you know, it was a, uh, what is it, um, an earthquake, because th this has happened. We could, we could make up something, but, yeah. you know, it's a technical difficulty, and um, we're excited to be back. It's senior night over here at the Milford Auditorium. Yes. And, um, and it is very exciting. Very exciting, yep. <coughs> we have um, 
our seniors tonight, the captains, are the seniors all season, but the seniors we're uh, honoring tonight include Captain Blake Briner, Captain Tyler Holbrow, Captain Holly Burns, Captain Alyssa Fisher, and Captain Juliana Lucas. And the other uh, senior swimmers are Adi Aditya Duta, Mia Carboni, uh, Elizabeth Mosier, Cassie White, and Noah Lagaya. Yeah, I don't think Noah's here. She is I, not I, here, actually. Yeah. She's a scratch on the sheet. Yeah. So, um, as always, after diving, our first meet is the 200 medley relay. Um, and in lane one, so that closest to the camera, we will have Olivia Wade, Maggie McCarthy, Charlotte Dowd, and Cassie White. Lane two, Holly Burns, Deirdre Belger, Juliana Lucas, and Anna Scalara. Lane three, Elizabeth Mosier, Natalie Buffard, Sophia Luce, and Mia Carboni. Lane four, Davis Pishoff, Brandon Fu, Tyler Holbrow, and Tyler Fallon. And lane five, five excuse me, will be Caleb Burke, Connor Walderson, Aditya Duta, and Sean Haley. Yep. Well, it seems like a long season. I, you know, I, I just uh, was going to tell the HCAM guys, you know, there's another meet in Thursday, you said? On Thursday, on yeah. Thursday, Thursday we'll be swimming Ashland. You know, my contract ends tonight. And yeah. so um, hopefully at the last minute my agent will come up with some we'll see, numbers John. for me. And we'll uh, see what happens, hon. Otherwise, yeah. it's it's just it's me and be Ashland. You? Yeah? yeah, that's it, because I already have an extension you, on my contract. You have no loyalty to me, I guess. No, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. It's a dog-eat-dog dog world yeah. in swim announcing. What can swim I say? Swim announcing is super popular. It is. And, uh, you know. I'm we just, we've I'm proven just it. Glad we found a hobby we can do together. You know, just so you know, uh, right before the meet, I did give out my first. Um, I gave a first autograph. Excellent. Yeah, somebody downstairs in the okay. parking lot. I thought they were coming up to, you know, get money out of my pocket, but they uh, came up to me they and just asked me for an autograph. autograph. Excellent. Yeah. So the pool looks especially festive tonight. On the far side, we have the traditional where the uh, freshmen, sophomore, and junior swimmers make posters for the senior swimmers and divers. Yeah, it looks great. Got it. It's awesome that they're oh, able to. It went to, out again. It's awesome that they're able to do it. Okay, in the pool we have right now Olivia Wade, lane one, Holly Burns, lane two, Elizabeth Mosher, lane three. Davis Pishoff, lane four, Caleb Burke, lane five. And they're off. And I, I haven't said it enough this, this season, Davis is awesome. He's, he looks great out there. Right. And in the girls' side, obviously everybody's doing excellent. Yeah. Elizabeth yeah. Mosher really has, has had a great season so far. Yeah, she really uh, has. Yeah. She really has. And Caleb Burke looks great out there. He's getting close yep. to... Uh, Davis there and, and Olivia Holly keeps looks pulling. good. Holly's been yeah. out for a couple of weeks with a shoulder inju injury. She okay. missed at least the last two meets, maybe yep. even three. She so looks glad good. to see her. She looks very good. Glad yep. to see her back in the water. In the pool over there, uh, you have Brandon Fu, lane four, Adit uh, Connor Will Adson, lane five. Yep. And then in, uh, is that Natalie That's Buffard? Natalie Buffard. Yep. Here in lane three. Yep. Lane two is Deirdre Belger, and lane one is Maggie McCarthy. Yep. All right, let's go. Okay, into yeah, the pool no. on the boys' side, we have uh, Tyler Holbrow just entered, lane four. Yes. His signature butterfly. Yep, followed by Aditya, who's uh, lane five. also got a great butterfly, and who's catching up there. In lane three, Alyssa... No, I'm sorry. Sophia Luce, so, lane three. Yes. Uh, lane four is Julia Julietta Lucas, Lucas right? who just came, finished the diving. Is, is I'm sorry, the, she's, yeah, lane two. Lane I said two, four. yep. And lane one, uh, Charlotte Dowd. That's great. Awesome. Oh, we're going to see the ending here. It's coming up. Tyler Fallon, signature. Yeah, the fast, 53. Uh, 53 fast for 50. this kid. Looks good out there. Yeah, he really, I, I know I mentioned this a few times at the beginning of the season, he had a severe injury uh, during the off season, had to have surgery and everything, and he really came back nice and strong. Yeah, Mia Carboni, lane three. Excellent. She another senior, good. right? Yes, yeah, another yeah. senior, really nice turn. In lane two, Anna Scalara. Yep, she's having a great, great yep, year. One of the, the uh, swimming Scalara sisters. Yes, there yes. And then I think we have um, Cassie, White. Cassie White over in lane, lane one. Lane one, yep. 
and she's another senior. She's had a great uh, four years of swim here, and yeah, she is she's fast. Really, she is so fast, and she's really happy that um, they also let her play volleyball. She's the captain of the volleyball team, and the way the seasons worked, both ended up being this fall two season as opposed to ones normally in the fall and ones yep. in the winter. So I'm really happy for her with the way it worked out. Okay, we got the 200 free lining up. Uh, Ishii Karana, lane one. Katie Balster, lane two. Alyssa Fisher, lane three. Kevin Gu, lane four. Lucas Kaufman, lane five. And Ryan DeLeva, lane six. Excellent. As we've said all along, the, the cool downs are a little weird. They're holding up their masks. Hopefully next year this is a distant memory. Hopefully. I think in next year I'm going to wear a mask just for the heck of it. Yeah. You know, it's good. It's, it's good. really good. It's good. It, yeah. I can smile. I can make all kinds of faces and nobody and sees nobody them. And nobody sees them, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. It's good stuff, Johnny yeah, it's Babe. good stuff. Okay, like I said, Ishii Karana, lane one. Katie Bolster, lane two. Alyssa Fisher, lane three. Quiet for the start. Quiet for the start. Nice. And I think I just lost Jeff. Okay. Lane. Yeah, I can't hear <coughs> Lane four. Kevin making a nice move there. Kevin Gu looks very good. Lucas Kaufman, lane five. And of course, Alyssa Fisher is keeping up with the boys. Yes, she is. And there's a nice little battle going on here in lane one and two between she yeah. and Katie. And uh, Ryan DeLeva looks strong over in lane six. Yep. I'm not sure how many times this season he's done this event, but he really looks good. Yep. Uh, and that's Lucas, I think, right in lane five. Yeah, he looks good. He looks yeah. good. Um, so as I was saying before, the traditional posters of the uh, junior swimmers make, a junior, sophomore, and freshman uh, make some posters. So um, you see it's them really neat the to there. see. Yeah. And, um, we can talk more about it during the break. But yeah. uh, you know who we should give a shout out to, John, uh, who's been to, I think, almost every single meet, at least for part of it, is the athletic director. And really, um, it was through his efforts that this season really yeah. was able to yeah. uh, come into being. So awesome. uh, that's yeah. uh, Rich, Rich um, Cormier. So I want to okay. uh, thank him. Yeah, definitely. And you know, it's nice that he's also offered to have Hopkinton School send us to Tokyo. We're going to be going to Tokyo with Hopkinton School. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, lane three, <coughs> Kevin, uh, I'm sorry, lane three. Oh, no, that's um, Alyssa Fisher, lane three, lane four, Kevin Gu. They're, they're battling it out here to the end. Come on, come on. What, what? This is three and four here. All right, look at this. Alyssa's giving it her all for her uh, senior night here. She's, all right, nice swim. Excellent for both of them. Great job, Alyssa, and excellent job, Kevin. That was quite a race. What a finish. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. All right, and then I... Not um, that I like to hear you all the I'm time. I'm so busy chatting, <laughs> but I'm going to say that uh, Lucas maybe came in third. Yeah, in the Lucas GTR. is third, yeah. Uh, <coughs> Ryan and Katie. A strong swim by all of them, really. Okay, it's a 200 IM, uh, lane one, Deirdre Belger. Lane two, Elizabeth Mosher. Lane three, Natalie Buffard. Lane four, Brandon Fu. And lane five, Davis Pishoff. All right. So you have two freshmen in there, lane three and five. I'm losing it here. Can you hear me? I cannot hear you, no, okay. but I think you can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you, but I'm just losing it. What are you losing? Okay. Okay. Um, the uh, officials are having a discussion there. Not quite sure uh, what exactly yep. is going on, but um, maybe they're making so a plan for when they're where they're going after the meet. Could be, could be, COVID yeah. safe yep. strategy. Uh, this event is two lengths of the pool in each stroke. Um, butterfly back, breast free. Yep. No. Oh, now L I can hear. Lane one, 
Uh, Deirdre Belger, lane two, Elizabeth Mosher, lane three, Natalie Buffard. I'm out. You're out. Lane four, Brandon Fu, lane five, Davis Bischoff. Yeah. Are you stopping right now? No. I'm, I'm a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice start there, Brandon. All right. Let's Davis. go. Everybody's, uh, the three girls are pretty much neck and neck. We have, um, Who's that? Uh, is that Natalie? Natalie in lane three. Yep, Elizabeth. She's Elizabeth's looking good looking there. Good. Deirdre's and, uh, looking good. Deirdre's looking good. All right. Oh, we're out again. Lane five, Davis Pishoff. Lane four, Brandon Fu. All right. We have uh, then lane uh, lane two is Elizabeth Mosier. Lane three, Natalie Buffard. And lane uh, one is Deirdre Belger. Wow, Davis is taking in the lead here. Yes, he is. He really is. All right, so now we're on to the breaststroke. Yep, we have Davis is, uh, has a big lead there, followed by Brandon Fu. Brandon is a strong breaststroker, so um, yep. I think he's catching up a little bit here. And Natalie is, uh, this is Natalie's strongest uh, stroke. Yeah, it is, yeah. And she just went from being behind Elizabeth to being ahead of her, so it depends on, Elizabeth is a really strong freestyler, so we, Interesting to see how much ground she gains, uh, she being Natalie. Deirdre's pretty good at breaststroke too. She's making up some ground as well. So it's gonna be, I think, an interesting finish for the three girls. Meanwhile, Davis looks phenomenal over there. He's just coasting. Yeah, yeah. He, well, I think he's swimming hard. I don't think yeah. he's coasting, John. But, uh, and Brandon looks really good as well. So let's see what happens here. We got uh, Natalie in the lead for the girls. You need to be able to kick in this. Um, you need, you to, be do able need to, kick. to be able to kick. It's hard. You can tell they're all getting a little tired. Yeah. But um, uh, let's see what happens on the turn here. At the minute, you're just got a little bit of um, a lead over uh, Eliz Elizabeth, but Elizabeth is looking strong. She's picking it up her kick. Deirdre's picking up her kick, and Natalie is as well. Really great race. Good race. So yeah. uh, Natalie, Deirdre, and Elizabeth. Really nice. By all five swimmers, actually. I'd love to know the times. Love to text the scoring deck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, coming up, we have the 50 free. Um, Anna Scalara, lane one. Mia Carboni, lane two. Uh, Sophia Luce, lane three, Tyler Fallon, lane four, Aditya Dutta, lane five, Caleb Burke, um, lane six. What? I'll tell you later. And they're off. This now this is a sprint, sprint Yes, race. it is, yep. the 50 free. This is the one I remember um, always thinking you'd sit at these long meets. The high school meets aren't as long as some others, but, and you'd yep. hope your child was out of the water in 30, under 25 or 30 seconds, so. Yeah, yeah. All right, who's that, and uh, is that Tyler Holt? Tyler Fallon. Uh, Tyler Fallon, he yeah. looks great. Aditya. Followed by Aditya is on his five. tail. Caleb, and, the girls and let's see, here. who's wow. lane one? I Olivia think Scalara. Great. And then nice swim. That was really a great swim. I believe, I'll be curious to see the times. I think she just out-touched Sophia, and Mia was not far behind. Second heat coming up, Olivia Wade, lane one. Katie Bolster, lane two. Cassie White, lane three. Declan Hanscom, lane four. Pierce Farrell, lane five. 
and hailing from Madrid, Spain, Pablo Calvo de la Fuente. Excellent. Yeah, I hope he's been enjoying this season and the year at Hoppington High School. Yep. Um, uh, the word was next year he's in Maine. That's what I heard. And, uh, he's going back to Spain for the summer. Yep. So he's coming back for the good weather, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Excellent. All right. That was a nice swim, Olivia Scalara, you know. Yeah. That really uh, was. His, the sisters are really time. swimming ten good tonight, I think. Yeah. Olivia Wade, lane one, Kitty Bolster, lane two, Cassie White, lane three, Declan Hanscom, lane four, Pierce Farrell, lane five, Pablo Calvo de la Fuente, lane six. Pierce Farrell, look at him. Yeah, he really looks good. Yeah. That nice was a nice turn. turn. Nice turn. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Wow, ooh. Somebody's coming up on him. Well, Declan Cassie, Hanscom. yeah. Cassie. And Cassie. Cassie's, Cassie's uh, right with them. them Cassie's all. gonna win it. She's gonna win it. I think. Oh, She's I don't it. know. I don't know. It's gonna be a. Wow. Whoa, that was Photo some finish. finish. Very nice. I don't know. She put the afterburners on at the end. Yeah. But Declan definitely was right there uh, with her, as was Pierce. So it'll be nice to see the times on that one. Definitely. Okay. Um, do we take a look at? Well, you know, we have a we have the ten minute. Thing? Uh, yeah. No, this year is going to be a little different for senior night. They're going to do the ceremony at the end of the meet. Um, oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yes. So for right now, it's Socially the 10 minute break. Yeah. Um, and uh, so some of the kids, particularly the uh, swimmers doing the 500, will probably do another warm up. They usually do. Um, and uh, let's see. Um, you know, it's funny because I feel like I say, oh, the 200 IM is a real endurance stroke uh, event. I mean, the 500 is an endurance event. Are you broadcasting? Hmm? Are you broadcasting? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just going to say, give me a heads up when you're ready. Oh, oh we, okay. We've been talking, yeah. <laughs> I'm recording, so I'm oh, Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, so, well, I can see um, we have Tyler Holbrow in lane four. We have yeah. uh, DT Aduta lane five and Tyler Fallon lane six. And then we'll see Alyssa Fisher lane three and Sophia Luce lane two. All right, so of our five swimmers, we got the middle three lanes are all seniors. This yeah. will be a fun one to watch. It's a butterfly, right? Yes, it yeah. is. Wow. Nice swim there, Tyler. You know, it's one of those things, you, you know, as a senior, you just want to finish strong. Exactly. And, uh, exactly. So this is awesome. So I don't know. I'm hearing from some people that uh, this still might not be streaming. So this might be he's just recording it and yeah, then yeah. it'll be posted. So. Yeah. 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 So um, wow, Tyler Holbrow looks awesome there. He really. Yeah. Look definitely. at that. He's on fire. Aditya is looking really strong, as is Alyssa. And then uh, Tyler Fallon looks really good too there. I think he's gonna come in third now. Touch a little. Oh, very nice. And then Alyssa and Sophia, beautiful. What is it now? Um, Hundred free. 
Liz Elizabeth Fisher, Elizabeth Mosher, lane one, Anna Scalara of the Swimming Scalara Sisters, lane two, Mir Carboni, lane three, Kevin Gu, lane four, Sean Haley, lane five, Connor Willatson, lane six. All right. Well, that was just a great butterfly event. Everybody looks strong. Tyler looked so strong. It's awesome. And they're off. The 103. Four, four lanes to the pool. Off to a fast start. Sean Haley, lane five. For the girls, they're they're all bunched up there. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Elizabeth Mosher, lane one. Mir Carboni, lane three. Anna Scalara, lane two. All right, they look great. So Kevin's keeping up with him. Kevin's really looking good out there. Lane four. Yeah, he really, he really is. He's looking good. Oh, he might catch him. Oh. Okay. That's Sean, right? In lane five? Sean, Sean yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. And Connor. Connor's had a really strong season too. He has. He really yeah. has. He's a sophomore, so that's great. He's two more years. He's really been touching, a big contributor. Touching their girls. All right, so looks uh, like um, so Mia that, might have touched out touched Elizabeth. That nice, was really nice great. Finish, yeah. Okay, they're gonna do a second heat on this one. Uh, Charlotte Dowd, lane two, Cassie White, lane three, Blake Briner, lane four, and hailing from Madrid, Spain, Pablo Calvo de la Fuente. Lane five. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, that's girls' time. So you to All right, let's see. Hey. Um, and I just got from the scoring table the butterfly times. Tyler okay. Holbrow's official time is a 58.33, and Alyssa's a 109.13. If I'm reading my chart right for um, Tyler Holbrow, the boys sectional time would be a 58.65 and the boys state time a 58.40 so unfortunately there's no states but that's pretty exciting to qualify anyway i hope they yeah. all get recognized for making the times yep all right and uh some other times the 200 free Alyssa was a 205.01 and kevin goo was a 205.05 so she did nice. definitely out-touch him. All right, so who do we have here, John, in the second heat? Is that Blake Briner? Yeah, Blake Briner, Cassie uh, White, lane three. Okay, and then we have uh, Pablo and Charlotte. And all four of them are really looking strong. They look good. Lots of clapping happening. Let's see. I think uh, Cassie's determined to try to catch Blake there, but uh, Pablo is going to catch, try to catch Cassie. So it's fun to watch. And Charlotte is doing really well. I can't say enough about the freshman girls this year, too. Yeah. I, they each meet. You've seen consistent progress. It's Absolutely. been great, fun to watch. And then, of course, um, you know, there are some very, uh, very fast. Uh, all four freshman boys happen to be really fast. But I am really enjoying watching the freshman girls just keep yeah, improving. Same here. Awesome. Yep. So that's. Um, Okay, here's the, the premier lo long event in uh, high school swim. The 500 free coming up. Okay. Um, lane, uh, hold on a second. We got it right here. Lane one, Olivia Wade. Lane two, Maggie McCarthy. Good to see her out there. Deirdre Belger, lane three. Brandon Fu, lane four. And Caleb Burke, lane five. All right. And this is the 500, it's 20 lengths of the pool. 
you'll see on the other end there's uh, somebody who counts for them and um, they uh, try to encourage their um, swimmer to keep going. Now, as we've said many times before, the, the big thing in this is to know your pace and to know when to give the kick. Yes. Looks like they all had a nice dive. Yep. All right. So let's see. It's always the first. 50, uh, you know, every now and then somebody comes out really strong. Right now, everybody's looking pretty uh, pretty even. It could be anybody's race. Yep. Uh, you know, I think you want to pace yourself, as we always say, but it's good to get that first 100 and you can get yourself in a nice position. So um, Definitely. Yeah, so we'll see. The thing on uh, being the counter, too, is you got to know when to pull the... Um, thing out you don't want to pull it out too soon but you don't want to pull it out too late so that your swimmer almost hits it when they do the turn and, uh, they didn't have those when i was swimming wow they had just sand. But they have they like sand rocks. at your rocks they throw rocks at you i thought maybe they etched in the side <laughs> of the cave the wall of the cave john yes that's what i thought exactly they had these it. when i swam the 500 um let's see they uh, just invented them after me there you go all right. Well, Brandon is looking great. He's awesome. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. Doing good. Caleb and uh, Deirdre just turned together there. Um, again, it's still very early in the race, and a lot can happen. But yep. they both had nice walls there. Some good Maggie push looks nice too. Maggie's Maggie doing does well. look good. She's having a great season too. She is. Uh, you know, I, is. it's really been uh, fun to watch. As always, it's as we've said, it's different to not have the competitors right there with you and you maybe lose a little of that sense of adrenaline but yep. you've seen pretty steady prod, uh, progress for all the swimmers each week so it's nice it is it, it is. is nice and uh let's see let's go. that's olivia wade there lane one. Oh, is it okay yep. maggie mccarthy lane two all right deirdre oh. Belger lane, lane three. three brandon's lane four and caleb burke lane five so everybody's looking good. Yep. Nice turn there. See, yeah, the turns really can. Uh, they make a difference. Yeah, Caleb just had a little bit better turn on that one than Deirdre, and he caught up a little bit. So Brandon just had a really nice turn. He got some kicks yeah, under the water. Yeah, he looks very relaxed he, out there. He does look relaxed. That's always what's uh, somewhat ironic, I think, with the. Um, some swimmers can look so relaxed, but you know they're working so hard. Yes, exactly. You know. Um, um, so, uh, oops, sorry, I just hit my thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, so everybody's looking good. I'm sorry, I, I got myself tangled up here and almost knocked off the microphone. So I apologize uh, to the audience, to HCAM into my fellow commenter, uh, commentator, I mean. I'm so used to you <laughs> dropping something or kicking something over. I, mean. I know, <laughs> I know. All right, so what do we have here? We are on lap 11. Um, See if you can I mean, tell. I'm sorry, this is lap 13. Yeah. 13, yep. So very nice. All right, deer is looking good. Caleb looks good. That was a nice turn. Brandon has a very sizable lead here. Yeah. And um, all right, the the girls here in lanes one and two are looking good. We got to get their counters to shake the thing so they uh, know to keep encouraging them. Yep. Um. They got to keep moving. Yep, they do.
Well, and let's see. We've got. Uh, yeah, this is where halfway through uh, you start to see more of the stagger, right? Brandon yeah. has a really sizable lead. And um, I think Deirdre actually is in second right now. Yep. She's looking good. See how her turn is. It's a pretty good turn. And then we've got Caleb. Excellent. And then Maggie looks strong, as does Olivia. So um, this is good. Let's see how these turns go here. All right. Yeah, you gotta Everybody's keep kicking. Everybody's looking good. Yeah, you gotta keep kicking. It's hard. It's so hard. Yeah. And this is where I, you know, I remember as a swimmer, I remember other swimmers saying to me, you can feel a little defeated when, um, well, that wasn't the horn, but just the dun, 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 to let him know, to let Brandon know he's only got 50 yards left. And yet, when you just did the turn for like at 15 or something, it can be dispiriting. But, and they just let Tierja know she's the lead of the girls with that uh, that sound there. So there we go. It's exciting to watch. Um, and Brandon is finishing up, and he's uh, let's see, Can Deirdre make the turn he's before gonna be he touches. Like just he's going to be six minutes around. Wow, very nice. So Brandon, we clocked him at just about six minutes. Let's see, I. Uh, Deirdre's looking good. She's, um, let's see what the official time is. We have her at about 6.17. Um, Caleb's looking strong for a third. Well, and of course, I, I don't know actually, I forgot to ask Kristen this too. I apologize to the audience because of my lack of uh, knowledge if this is a double duel or a, um, or actually uh, co-ed me. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, this is where, you know, I give these girls credit here, uh, both Maggie and Olivia, because sometimes you can give up your fight when you know other swimmers have finished and you still have another yeah, uh, they're, they're 50 swimming yards, away. but they're swimming to the end and that's what's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, and some other times uh, for uh, you all in the IM, Davis Pishoff had a 2.22.71 and Natalie Buffard had a 2.45.06. Nice. Yeah. And remember, uh, everyone, the times for um, that we get from up here are not, they're close. The times I'm reading you are from the scoring table. They're the final times. The times when John and I clock it, we have a funny angle, so... Um, yeah, yeah. Just it seems particularly hot this evening. I don't know if it's just because it's warmer outside. Yeah, I don't Get know. Get the window open there. All right, let's see. Let's see, and uh, John Fisher's here in the audience tonight. Uh, yeah. He's a parent of a senior, but he can't calculate the score, so. Yeah. I don't know. Let's I was it. talking to him before. Were you he, talking to him before? Yeah, oh, yeah. good. Um, he appreciated the shout out. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So we have the 200 free relay now. So that's. Uh, okay. Uh, 200 free relay. Okay. In the pool, uh, lane two, Ishii, Holly, Olivia, and Natalie. And in lane three, Olivia, Scalara. Elizabeth Mosher, Sophia Luce, Alyssa Fisher, Lane Four, Tyler Holbrow, Kevin Goog, Sean Haley, Tyler Fallon, and in Lane Five, Lucas Kaufman, Pierce Farrell, Declan Hanscom, Connor Watson. All right, and they're off. Tyler Holbrow looks good. He right really there. looks good. He's having a great night tonight. Lucas Kaufman, really. Yeah. He's yeah. right with him. He is right there with him. Now, don't they drive together or something? What, what's, do they, uh, uh, I don't believe so. I okay. think that um, okay. Alyssa drives Alyssa Lucas drives Kaufman. Lucas, yeah. I'm not sure who Tyler Holbrow drives with. Yep. Okay. Or drives. So who do we have in the water right now, Right now in the water we have uh, Kevin in lane four. Okay. Who just came out. 
Pierce Farrell, lane five. Pierce is having a great night Elizabeth tonight. Elizabeth Mosher, lane three. Looks Excellent. very good. Yeah. She's and Holly Burns, I don't lane. Think that's, I don't think that's Holly Burns. I think Holly Burns is doing the anchor. I they must have switched, switched it. the order, yeah. That might be Olivia J. Or Olivia, Olivia J. is, is on about the thing. to dive in. Um, yeah. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Natalie that might Buffard? Be they swapped Natalie the, Bufard out? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that could be. Yep, that's her. Yeah. So they must have changed. Okay, and uh, that was Sean, that's Sean Haley, lane four. Wow, he's another one. He's just had a really, really good season. Declan Hanscom, lane five. All right. In the pool, Tyler Fallon, lane four. Connor Willatson, lane five. Coming up here, uh, Alyssa Fisher, lane three. And then it's uh, Holly Burns lane four. Correct? Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. So we've got. Uh, all right. Well, Holly's it. really. Uh, did you lose it? Holly's really finishing strong. I'm glad that her shoulder is um, enabling her to swim and her What's kick that? looks great. I'm glad that Holly's uh, back in the pool tonight and she looked really good. Definitely. Especially after being out for several weeks with a shoulder injury. Yeah. Um, all right, now we'll have the 100 backstroke. And um, we're going to have two heats in this event. uncertain what Chappie's saying over there but uh what's that i don't know what Chappie was saying but we're having 100 it'll be the 100 backstroke in lane one anna scalora lane two katie balster lane three ishi kunara lane four davis pishoff lane five lucas kaufman and lane six ryan deleva And they're off. So we've got uh, Who's that right lane now. Four? That's Davis in lane four. Wow. Lucas in lane five, and uh, oh, lane six. Ryan Deleva just had a great wall there. He made up a lot of ground. The three girls are pretty close. We have Ishi Kunara in lane three, Katie Balster lane two, and Anna Scalora in lane one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, Davis is looking great. Lucas just had a nice turn. Uh, Ryan just had a great turn. Did you see how Ryan caught up some ground there? They're very, this could be anybody's uh, race there between the two boys, yeah. but also to the girls here. We have, uh, so. looks it's like Ishii and Katie are neck and neck. And uh, Anna is, uh, she's doing okay, holding her own there. She is, she looks good. She does, she does. All right. Uh, Lucas is looking good. Wow, Davis Davis uh, won by a substantial lead, but there's uh, Lucas for second and uh, Ryan there in third. And for the girls, we have, uh, I think, Katie, then Ishii, and then um, Anna will, will place third. All right, some nice swimming there. All right. For our second heat, we're going to have uh, Charlotte Dowd, lane two, Olivia Wade, lane three, Blake Briner, lane four, and Declan Hanscom, lane five. Uh, this, um, for years, has been Blake's signature event. Actually, one of the posters over there for Blake, yeah. oh my gosh, he looks like a little kid. It was his first year. Um, on the team? On the team, <laughs> the photo from there, and he's you know in the pools to the backstroke, and he's got these like little, it's just a cute photo. Um, all right, so I'm only seeing. What's the event there? The, it's the second, second heat. heat of 100 back. I don't see Charlotte Dowd. Um, Maybe she's scratched. Oh. I guess so. I don't know. Yeah. 
Uh, so that's Olivia Wade in lane uh, three. All right, Olivia Wade, lane three, Blake Briner, lane four, and Declan Hanscom, lane five. So uh, Blake is a senior, Declan is a sophomore. He's one of the four sophomores on the team. And then Olivia is a freshman. All right, let's see. Very nice turn by Blake. Declan looks nice and strong. That was a good turn there. And here comes Olivia. Very good. Nicely done. You know, sometimes you can come out of that backstroke turn a little too deep and you it slows you down a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's a tough <clears throat> one. Definitely a tricky turn. But everybody's looking good tonight. And we have uh, Declan's got a nice kick there. It's really keeping him propelled. And Olivia, uh, yeah, she looks good. She, that, uh, that, to me, that turn looked a little bit better. Maybe not quite as deep as her on the one on the other wall. Yep, so that's yep. great. I mean, she's a freshman, you know. She, oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, coming up, we got the 100 breast. Yes. Maggie McCarthy, lean one. Olivia Scalara, lane two. Natalie Buffard, lane three. Sean Haley, lane four. Connor Willotson, lane five. Pierce Farrell, lane six. It's good to see Pierce out there. He's getting some, yeah. he's getting some swims in tonight. Yes, he is, and he's really strong in every event he's yes, been in, yes. which is great. Oh, gosh, I keep hitting that. I don't know what's wrong. Yep. All right. You know, and uh, the breaststroke is, uh, they're all fun strokes to watch. The breaststroke's a little bit different. You um, need different strengths, you know, in the backstroke and the freestyle, you really need that, your flutter kick really powers you. The um, breaststroke, of course, the kick gives you a lot of distance, but you need to be able to really have a strong pull. Yep. Maggie, lane one, Olivia, lane two. Natalie, lane three, Sean, lane four, Hannah Lats in lane five, Pierce Farrell, lane six. All right, and on the, um, the 500, uh, Deirdre's official time was 61757 and Brandon Foos was 55869. So those are the official times uh, for the 500. All right, sorry there. Uh, yeah, it's all right. That's Natalie Buffard, lane three. All right, she's looking lane good. Two, she's uh, Sean Haley. I'm sorry, see. lane four, Sean Haley. Lane five, Connor Willatson. So they're fighting oh, it out. Oh, they're fighting it out for a second there. Looks yeah. good. And again, unfortunately, because we didn't ask the Coach Kristen if it's a double duel or a co-ed meet, not exactly sure, but... Um, Either way, there was a really strong swim by both Natalie and um, Connor. Yep. And then, uh, okay, a nice coming up, uh, we've got the 400 relay, the final event. Um, lane two, Charlotte, Deirdre, Anna Scalara, Olivia Scalara. So Olivia is going to be coming out of the pool and going again. Yeah. Uh, Lane three, Katie Bolster, Mia Carboni, Ishii, Karana, Melissa Fisher. Lane four, Tyler Holbrow, Kevin Gu, Davis Pishoff, Aditya Dutta. Lane five, Lucas Kaufman, Ryan DeLeva, Brandon Fu, Caleb Burke. Lane six, 
Cassie White, Pablo Calvo de la Fuente, Declan Hanscom, Blake Briner. So they just went making some announcements about the senior night festivities. I guess the seniors are staying on the deck. The rest of the team is coming up to the to the um, room here, um, taking some publicity shots of of us here coming up. All right. Yeah, I got to send that a friend of mine uh, in Florida has a new agent, so I'm sending that down to her. Sending that down to her? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now, that guy has is, been in a lot of meets. Uh, he, he, he's, that he's, he's, he must live in the gym, in the uh, pool. Okay, starting off Charlotte, lane two. Katie Boster, lane three. Tyler Hobile, lane four. Lucas Kaufman, lane five. Cassie White, lane six. Wow, Cassie's swimming with the boys over there. All right, good for her. Wow, she is fast. She is fast. She is Come fast. Come on, Cassie. If this season Kick. were two weeks longer, she'd be blowing them all away. Yeah, yeah. You know, because she only swims in swim season. Um, let's see. Wow, everybody's looking good there. And who do we have in, uh, is that Katie Bolster in lane three? That's Katie Bolster in lane three. Well, and Charlotte, Charlotte lane two. Charlotte lane two. It's a sprint. Yeah. A hundred yard sprint. It is a hundred yard sprint. Um, and it's, you know, you don't think of it a hundred as a sprint, but it is a sprint. Yes, he's staying right with him. I don't know. Yeah. That's yes, Lucas. She... Okay. Yeah, I think she out touched Into him. Into the pool, we have Declan Hanscom. No, no, no. Pablo Calvo de la Caz, the Fuente, and lane then, six. Yeah. Ryan DeLeva, lane five. Okay. Kevin Gu, lane four. Mia Carboni, lane three. Three. Deirdre Belger, lane two. All right. Well, everybody's looking good. That Kevin. Kevin is consistently he, fast. He, he, that he is. Yeah. And Ryan DeLeva is looking good out there. Pablo. The Pablo and Ryan are fighting it out in lane five and six. Into the pool over there. Um, Lane four, Davis Pishoff. Really? Yeah. Oh, lane four, Davis Pishoff. Okay. I was just watching Brandon Foo dive in. I'm like, I don't think that's Davis. So Brandon's lane five. Brandon is lane five. Yep, yeah, and that's Declan in lane six. six. Ishii yeah. here in lane three. And uh, I'm not quite sure who just dove in for lane two. Is that Anna? In lane two? I don't know. I'm losing it here. Lane two here. I think it's Anna Scalaria, right? Oh, Lana, Anna Scalara, yeah. Scalara, yeah. I'm sorry. Of the swimming Scalara sisters. Exactly. And Ishi Karana, lane three. And about to jump in the pool, lane five, Caleb Burke. And lane six, Lake Reiner. There's going to be a battle for to win this event. Blake had a wow, nice swim yeah. right on top of the water there. Wow, look at them go. Helicopter. Yeah, he really, they're both, uh, both the really powering. The Let's see how, the who's got the turn there. Is a deep, deep, uh, no, no. Alyssa, uh, Alyssa, Alyssa Fisher. Fisher. Yeah. I get it wrong, sorry. No, that's all right. Okay, Aditya Dutas, lane four. And jumping in, uh, taking over from her sister is Olivia Scalara. Scalora, Scalora. Yep. From the swimming Scalora sisters. Wow, look at those two on the back end there, Caleb and Blake. 
Wow, yeah, they are neck and neck. Let's see. Oh, come on, come on. So that was... Uh, Somebody's got to swim over there. Well, I... Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I think, uh, I think that Blake's got him there. But that was close. That was fun to watch. Yeah, it was fun. All right. And here is uh, uh, finishing up Alyssa Fisher. Yep. And Olivia Scalora. I wish I would get a, a correction on the pronunciation. But yeah, you know what? Next season, John, I think I need to ask for a phonetic list. Yeah. Maybe if I get awesome. the request yep. in early from the AD so and uh, what's the coach. So, uh, what's our plan? Are we going to so stay on? So, our plan is, for yeah, the, uh, as long as that's night? okay with Tom, I think we yeah. should stay in for, um, stay yeah. on for the senior night yeah. and um, maybe uh, watch that. Um, Very nice. That was very nice. And I always love that, you know, you don't get out of the pool until everybody's finished. I just think that's always, whether, I guess it this happens. year, you know, they're going it back. Sometimes but sometimes they do. Yeah, but very rarely. I used to get out very yeah. quickly. You can yeah. only imagine. I can only imagine. So I'm um, just going to tell Tom uh, from HCAM here uh, what we've got going on. Um, Okay. What are they going to do? He's going to turn on the mic in front to pick up what they're saying. Okay. So we don't have to do a commentary then? Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Are you going to announce it? Hmm? Are you going to announce during it? If you can if you want, that's fine with me. Okay. We'll see if you can hear it from the main mic. Is it live now? I mean... We could uh, we could say that we're we're going to be here for a few a few minutes extra. Yep, we uh, are. The senior night here. Yep. So they're going to do the uh, announcing of each of the seniors, have their parents come up, and. Um, what is it? The 2020, uh, 2021. 2021 season. 2021 season mm -hmm. is about to be concluded next on Thursday. Yep, but, but we're, we're honoring our celebrating our seniors tonight. Absolutely. So I know there's been a lot of. Uh, work and effort put into this night. Yes, as there always is. From the parents, especially the parents of the seniors. Mm -hmm. um, well, and yeah, and the parents, uh, I would say of the other swimmers, we try to make the, have the parents of the seniors be able to relax this Well, meet. no, I'm just talking about how, how many oh. years upon oh, years they went to swim meets. Absolutely, went to swim meets, they uh, participated. Really it's not about the, yeah. Yep, a lot. And actually, I saw some parents of seniors even timing. You know, the tradition is you don't work senior night, yeah. but um, it's been nice. With COVID, everybody's working. Everybody's yeah. working. So we now, do have... it looks like um, they're coming from the left here. I don't know. And then walking that way around to the left. Maybe all the way around. I don't know. Maybe that's where they're meeting their kids maybe, on the maybe. right. Maybe, maybe. We'll have to see. Yeah. I know Coach Kristen Weber has it all under control. Yeah. So we have um, 10 seniors, and I think they are also, um, I think they might also be honoring um, Pablo because he yes. is. Um, he's a senior too. Well, he's, he's technically a junior, but because it's his final, his one and only season with the yeah, team. Yeah. So I think that they were honoring him as well. Um, so let's see what we have here. We have Deirdre with the flowers, and she should really cut the plastic off. She should what? Yeah, take the outside wrap. Oh, there we go. I think her pal Tyler just was like, Deirdre, you can't hand them out if they're all in a plastic bag. All right, so... Um, so it looks like the juniors are lining up. The seniors are up against the far wall, and we have the senior parents over here. And so we'll see see how this works. Yeah. Um, and um, Heidi Holbrow has been the team photographer, uh, well, the past four years, as well as the three years prior to that. Yeah. So, um, awesome. yeah. Yeah. So, but tonight, uh, Melissa Pishoff has. She's, um, she's going to take it over? I, I, I hope she takes it over next year. Maybe somebody else will. But she uh, took the photos tonight, and she'll be taking the pictures of the seniors and their parents. I heard all these parents. jobs are paid next year. So yeah, that's what I heard, I too. I talked to the uh, you, uh, athletic you director. Talk to? Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. 
It's uh. So uh, let's see. We've yeah, got. Awesome. Um, yeah. Let's see if this can get started. Now it looks like it's not going to be a, f a great photo event here because of the settings. Well, I, I was. No, I can't recall what's under here. Is there like the well the lifeguard? The yep, entrance to the locker room, yeah. a first aid shack. There's a lifeguard stand there. Yeah. Um, but I guess if. Yeah, I don't know from here from HCAM how much they can see. Yeah, from see. HCAM's perspective, yeah, I don't know if might they're going to get a shot here. But we'll have, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. But Melissa's down on deck. She'll get a nice shot of everybody. Yeah. And then I think they're able to come down and take pictures in front of their posters or their, oh, the nice, nice banners, yeah. too, after they do this um, nice. flower ceremony and just officially recognizing each of the seniors. All right, and let's see what the story is. Um, all right, not quite sure, ladies and gentlemen. What's I think they're waiting uh, for the satellite on? feed. That could they're be. That could feed. be, John. Yeah. It's in preparation. Think of it as preparing for when you have to announce the medal ceremony in Tokyo. Yes, I think that's. What I think I'm that's thinking. what it is. That's you what know. I'm thinking, yeah. Absolutely. They're waiting for the arrival of the president of the Olympic Committee. Ah, ah. That's what they would be waiting for at the Olympics. Probably. Here they're waiting for Chappie. <laughs> Chappie has <laughs> not given the okay to proceed. He hasn't given the okay to proceed. All right, let's see. Let's see. But again, I'm very thankful he's even letting them do this. He let yeah, them put it's up awesome. the. Uh, yeah. You know, he did comment that the kids have been super cooperative and followed all the COVID procedures this year which yeah. is what has enabled them to be able to even have this uh, ceremony and the decorations. I think most people that are watching this at home probably will fast forward through all the rest of it I, to this. Oh, that could be, that could be. And you know, I don't even know why I have this on because I can't even hear you. Um, all yeah. right, let's see. Um, Oh, wow. Yeah, but it's been it's been a lot of fun uh, with these seniors. It's been a good group of kids these past four years to yeah. see. Uh, we're lucky because even though our daughter is a junior, we um, because our older daughter was a senior when these um, swimmers and divers were freshmen, we've seen them for four years, and it's just yeah. been really fun to watch them progress. I sometimes pull out the photo of us on senior night when uh, Bridget was a Do you senior. Really? Yeah, huh? I look at it and I wonder... <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, my. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. It looks like uh, Alyssa Fisher has a piece of paper. I hope she's not. Uh, I don't hope she's not giving a speech, but that was only teasing. But wonder what she's got going on there. And I don't know. You're coming in and out again. Yeah, so I'm know. not really sure if we're recording or not. But um, we could just keep commenting sure, anyway. Sure. But I think Tom was going to turn on the camera mic, too, to try to pick up what's being said. So let's yeah, see.
All right, everybody. Well, there they are, the uh, seniors and their parents. And uh, they're going to walk over by the diving board, I think, uh, one group at a time. So Melissa Pishoff can take the photo. So I think, um, I think that could be a wrap. I think that's it, huh? Yeah. I think we didn't tell Pablo's um, oh, I see, yeah. host parents. That's the shot we have at home. Yeah. 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 I have no idea what he just said. No. But um, I feel badly if we didn't let, uh, if nobody let Pablo's host parents know that they could come for this piece of it. You know, I think all the communication said senior parents could attend tonight. Yep. All right. Well, we should go down there and get a picture of Go ahead, hop down there. You can speak Spanish. Let's see. All right, here are the Carbonis. The Dutas. He was a cameraman. Uh, last year, yeah, he was, right, and yeah. I think even the year before, he he ran it a lot. <laughs> All right, and the Fishers. So they have Alyssa has a twin brother who will be playing baseball at Fairfield next year. Wow. All right, the whole brows. the Lucases and um, I mentioned before Alyssa's the only one who's going to swim but um, Juliana is going to RPI for lacrosse she's a goalie Mosher's Cassie White and her parents. <laughs> All right, and Pablo. That's it. I think that's a wrap. Nice shot of all the seniors and Pablo. All right, everybody. Well, I think that's a wrap here for the uh, senior night, Hopkinton Swim and Dive. Um, these guys, these have been troopers, these seniors. So I'm really glad we got to have some kind of senior night for them. And we will see you all on Thursday for the final meet with Ashland.